guys, welcome back. I wanted to talk to you about, you know, especially with the full moon of Gemini coming up on the 18th, about really letting go of old energy that it's time to let go of. Now, like I said, for everyone, we might not be doing this thing with them. But with me, since he's shifting and I'm shifting with him, um, and it's like he's evolving and this new Odin is coming out, he warned me. He said, you know, he gave me a warning. He said, get all the old energy stuff that you associate with, you know, old energy, old angry, old energy. You know, you don't have to get rid of it, but, you know, get it out of your general vicinity. You really need to do this. You really need to let go of this because this is not what you're getting back. You know, I, I really hope that you realize you're not going back to that because, you know, you've, you've kind of locked in. And I was like, okay. And I didn't really take it the full way. I, you know, I had some skulls and again, there's nothing wrong or bad with them, but it was that was definitely that old Odin, you know, death or, or energy. And I kind of like I got them out and, you know, they're they're out in the garage and they're they're protected in a box. So, you know, I didn't just throw them out or something. But I was like, wow, you know, um, they do feel, you know, they are a light energy, but they're also that Odin death energy. So I did need them out of the house. And I had this. um shirt of all things that I had and it was a Odin shirt and you know it was very much of that old warrior energy and I've been wearing it this week and just today I was wearing it and I got like so incredibly angry and I couldn't figure out why and then I'm like well that's that old Odin energy he'd warn me you know, he said, make sure, you know, you, you've you got it away from yourself because, you know, he wasn't going to be here to, to do stuff. And he did check in, like, briefly, like, pinged in today and checked on me. But then, you know, he's got stuff to go do, so he's going to go do his stuff. And I I said to, to Loki, because I couldn't think all day, it was, like, really irritable and mean. And I was like, I don't know what's going on. Like, part of the day was good. Part of the day was actually fantastic. Got a lot of good news today. But then, you know, part of the day, I was pretty, like, mean mean attitude, mean-spirited. And I was like, what's going on? You know, is it, like, this full moon in Gemini? Is it, you know, you know, switching over? Or, you know, I thought, well, maybe I feel, like, anger or resentment because I feel like he's moving me so fast. But no, it was it was a shirt. And I was like, oh God, that sounds like so new age of me. But it really was because that shirt had been worn and had been invested with the energy of the old Odin. And I was feeling that energy back. You know, remember stuff that you, you know, especially if your God's going to change, you know, change aspects on you or they're evolving on you. Find out what what matches the new energy is kind of hard to do because Odin's not right here. But, you know, find out what matches their new energy. And if something doesn't match their new energy, you don't just have to toss everything out, but maybe put it away for a while and wait until, you know, they come back, you know, in Odin's case, and see what they want you to do with it. And see what feels right. You know, as a witch, you should be able to read this energy feels heavy. I don't like this energy. You'll pick it up over time. Like, even without being a witch, you can walk into a room and go, oof, I don't like that there, you know, like, there's something about that thing being there I don't like, and, and you can do it that way. And we had redone his altar, which looks great, and we had redone, you know, it still has a little of the old energy, but I'm not surprised, because he hasn't been around to, like, shift the energy completely. Um, we redid this cabinet, we redid, you know, the living room, and everything should be great, but it was, I think it was that shirt. So I took it down and I threw it in the laundry and I'll at least clean it and like put it away for a while. But I'm even wondering if I can keep it because, you know, um, it is Odin. I am aware that, you know, I might do all these preparations and, you know, Glide of War shows back up and it's like, oh, you were getting old, new Odin, but. But I think, you know, for the new one to come back, it just, it has to be an agreeable atmosphere. It has to be an agreeable atmosphere. And to to kind of finish up, you do have to let go of that old energy. You know, if your God's trying to evolve, I know it doesn't seem fair because you like the old energy, but, you know, you have to let go of the old energy. I have to let go of that old energy of Odin. If new Odin, you know, fully wants to emerge with me, I can't be like, 
I really liked old Odin. I thought, okay, you know, I can't be like that. I have to let it go. Just let it go. You know, you had the, the experience of that energy. You were very lucky. You were blessed. But now your God's changing. Just kind of let it go. I know that was kind of short, but we've tried, been trying all day. And that was just kind of like a thing of like, I realized I was wearing the shirt to kind of like try to hold on to like a little bit of the angry Odin energy. And then I'm like, why am I even doing this? I didn't like it when he got angry. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things you have to do. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to have that, not dark night of the soul, but good discussion with the gods thing of like, you know, anger actually isn't a good marker of leadership and you know just because he's now you know gentle and he's a pacifist and you know he's gone vegetarian and everything he's still good leadership material you know he doesn't have to be the alpha male i got that you know i've been getting like tons of like go here watch this go here watch that you know a dude doesn't have to be an alpha male to be a good leader or teacher he does not you know that's actually pretty pretty toxic masculinity and you know all the guys just done so, but it's not even a thing in wolves. It's not, you know, they don't have alphas. We call the parents alpha still because they are the leaders, but you know, it's not even a thing. They're not up there because they beat their chest and howl the loudest or bit the strongest. They're the parents. That's why they're in the lead, you know? Um, so he doesn't have to be that kind of toxic domineering, you know, macho bro hollow dude. He never was with me though. We had plenty of growl growls to hand around. And, you know, um, he doesn't have to be that to be a leader. He doesn't have to be old Odin. You know, new Odin will lead perfectly fine when he returns, whenever that will be. I'm hoping you'll, you know, because his bunny came in today. So I'm hoping you'll, but, you know, if it's longer than that, it's longer than that. We just have to hold it together until he gets back here. We've been doing pretty good, but, you know, let go of whatever it is. And it's, it's actually going to be full moon in Gemini, so it's a good thing to... If you're moving into new stuff, you have to let go of the old stuff. You know, you don't have to be drastic about it, but, you know, if you're trying to move into being more peaceful, you have to let go of everything you're angry at. You you can't move into being more peaceful by going, but I want permission to go over here and be angry for five days or five years at this. You're never going to move into being peaceful. Just let it go. I know it's hard, but let it go. There are a lot of, you know, I don't want to lead people to specific teachers, but there are a lot of teachers out there that are like, okay, we're going to meditate. We're going to forgive everybody. And they do it all the time and you start to get mad at them. But you would be surprised at how many times you let something go and then it comes back and then it let something go and then it comes back. So that's why they're always having you do that to forgive people, to forgive yourself, you know, forgive yourself is especially important to let it go, you know, if you want to be peaceful, let go of the anger, if you want to be, you know, um, you know, change this or change that, let go of what's holding you back, so if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later, bye-bye.